So a power bar is what you need if you really want to optimize your guitar and pedal and amp setup. And to do that, all you got to do is you just plug it into the wall like you normally would. You plug your power supply for your pedals in first, and then you plug in your amp after. And then you leave your power, your power bar on at all times. In other situations, I just turn it on like that with my pedals already attached, and then I plug the amp in. And there, it's ready to go. Or if I'm really lazy, I just turn it off like that, and then the next day I turn them all on together. And you know, I just deal with the fact that there's like a small sound, which you know, it, it isn't a huge deal. So as you can see in this image here, I have the power on in my amp. I just leave it on 24 seven. I set the volume to four. And then I have my power bar next to my pedals. So the, the power bar, it's important that you have it where you're closest to like where you play the guitar, right? That way you can turn it on easily. You can turn it off easily. And so, so I think it's important to reiterate that you want to plug in your power supplies first, then you turn your amp on afterward. If you put all your pedals on at one time and the amp, it's going to make this like sound and it's kind of annoying. This is the sound I'm referring to. So obviously that sound, it wasn't a huge deal, right? But that being said, I think it's best to avoid sounds like that, especially if you're dealing with a more powerful amp and more pedals. When you're getting your power bar, I make sure it's a surge protector as well. And I make sure that the cable is long enough. So it's gotta be about, I made mine 15 feet. And the reason why I made it 15 feet is because my power bar, it actually goes all the way to the other side of the room. And the reason why that is, is because if I have all of my, my electronics, including my air conditioner, on the same circuit, it'll actually trip the breaker in my apartment. So I have, I make sure that the power supplies and everything else is on a different circuit. Another important thing that I do for this setup as well, so I actually have a command strip on the bottom of the power bar, and then I have it fastened to the floor. And uh, that makes it so that it doesn't move around constantly and it doesn't act really annoying when I'm turning it on and off and putting the cords into it and, and whatnot. So ultimately this is a pretty simple setup and um, I haven't had any issues with it at all. I would just make sure that you have a surge protector and make sure that uh, you know you, you power everything on and off at night when you're done. And the final thing I'll say about it too is I, I'm actually using a super long AC cord for my amplifier. And that's because my AC cord, it goes like all the way around my shelf and underneath and it comes back out and then it goes into my power bar which is a little bit further away and i do that just to kind of organize the cables and make sure everything is cleaned up properly one thing i should say as well is that this is just how i set up my pedals and my amp if you're going to do the same thing make sure that you consult the manuals and you look at your power bar and you make sure all of your electronics are perfect before you go it go for it because you don't want something to get messed up i've never had any problems but uh, you know this is just how i do it and i figured i would share